Hola. Aloha. Bonjour. Hello and welcome to Southwest Currents at our new time here on Fox 14 with a special end of summer retrospective. I'm Daniel Lujan. And I'm Naomi Alvarez. Our cast and production crew are kind of kicking back today, looking at our first summer on the air. And what a summer it's been. I'm Julio Ortiz. And tonight we invite you to take a trip with us through the summer of 97 and relive some of the amazing times with Southwest Currents. Entertainment, lifestyles, destinations, and awesome people. In a nutshell, Southwest Currents is all about the best of our community, just like Carla Martinez. For the next half hour, come on and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> You'll meet some of our guys behind the camera, find out where all this came from, and take a sneak peek at Fox's new news at 9. Back in a moment. Here on Fox 14. About seven months ago, Southwest Current's creator and director Roland Torres joined forces with videographer slash editor extraordinaire Mario Gongora and began shaping a regional television program that would present the best of our community. And they collaborated with business executive and former Miss El Paso, Wynn Vivido Montes, launching Adelante Productions. Ta -da! A full-length pilot of Southwest Currents was produced. Syndication offers were made by several network affiliates in the region, and the show was launched with a hip and happening Fox 14. And the rest, as they say, is history. And what's entertainment, lifestyles, destinations, and awesome people? Hmm. Well, in this end of summer retrospective episode, we take a look at some of our favorite segments, starting with Southwest Entertainment. Oh, yeah. We define Southwest Entertainment as the stuff that fun times are made of. Places to go. Hey, we're at the Palace Nightclub. And before everybody gets here, let me take you on a quick tour. This is the main floor, and if you come here about 11 or 12 o'clock, it's going to be like this. The Palace Nightclub occupies a space that for years used to be the Palace Theater. And for you jazz lovers, the upstairs jazz bar is second to none. One, two, three. Places throughout the region. Entertainment options that are both unknown and well-known. There's nothing like a good movie to take you away. And one of the most unique places to do that is the Fountain Theater in Old Mesilla. The Mesilla Valley Film Society, a nonprofit organization, was formed a few years ago with a mission of bringing non-mainstream movies to our region. Operating out of the Fountain Theater, the Film Society has carved a strong niche as a place for independent film, foreign film, and cinema that's not standard fare in the common theater. Built 104 years ago by the same Fountain family that still owns a the theater, it has been home to vaudeville acts, live drama, and comedic play. From high society to flying on a Southern California getaway, this is Southwest Entertainment. The story of Mozart's Don Giovanni combines the excitement of black comedy with intense tragedy. Hardly a week goes by without one of our viewers writing, calling, or emailing us to say, I didn't know that was right here. We're going to check it out. In addition to letters, phone calls, and email, our producers have gone back to various locations where we've shot it. To be told, we've had a number of visitors that learned about us on Southwest Currents. Now that is a good thing. The Southwest Currents Lifestyle Report was designed to give our viewers a look at the mix and variety of people that live here. We believe that the more we learn about our neighbors' differences, the stronger our understanding of one another becomes, and we begin to see how truly alike we really are. Uh, through time, 
our grandfathers have, has always maintained the tradition alive by, by song, chants, uh, traditional rituals that have been practiced for the past 355 years. Uh, some of the young people have uh, been close to the tribe, which uh, makes them learn and continue. Uh, there's a lot of uh, children right now that are are very eager to learn the tradition and, and, and the, the chance to, to continue the, uh, the uh, tradition of, of life. The Tigua Indians are an important and inspiring part of this one-of-a-kind place we call home. Southwest Current's lifestyle takes us throughout our community. Every day, literally thousands of men and women across the nation go to work for the good old USA. And here at El Paso's Fort Bliss Army Station, the men and women that live and work here are a vital part of our community. Early one morning, we met up with one such individual dedicated to his service, who also happens to be from El Paso, PFC Adam Rodriguez. On this particular day, Rodriguez's battalion was headed out of town. We're getting ready to go to the field. That's military speak for a working road trip. Let's check it out. As the 4th of July rolls around this week, a lot of celebrating will take place. A tribute to the freedoms we enjoy in this great country and to the men and women who do it every day at our own Fort Bliss and military installations throughout the nation to people like Adam Rodriguez. From our hearts, nuestro agradecimiento. 